Hi, beautiful. Okay, so on this Diamonds Corner, we're gonna be talking about tips to maintaining a healthy self esteem. I have to get this one off the temple, y'all, because I've been thinking about it lately. I've been thinking about, like, hmm, what makes me really, like, confident? Like, really, what makes me confident? So, I'm gonna be sharing some tips that you guys need to learn to. So you guys need to be informed that has helped me. So, let's get into it. One, pay attention to what makes you happy, like your physical needs. Like, for me, dancing, playing my guitar writing stories that's random but i love writing stories i don't fucking know why just have a notebook write stories it's lit uh what else makes me happy like working out with my dad that just makes me so happy like working out working on my body like my dad like really is a trainer and he's amazing so that makes me happy like you need to be thinking about what makes you feel good like that's a that's rule number one of like self-esteem period um next is carve out relaxation time like don't ever feel bad for like relaxing y'all i have to really get out of this myself like i would really like be sitting down and be like oh bitch you need to get the fuck up you need to be doing something you need to be like i had to get out of that mindset because like no no bitch i'm gonna relax like ugh, literally fighting with myself guys that's what it sounds like <laughs> but like don't ever feel bad for just relaxing you deserve to relax and like if you're somebody who, like telling somebody they're lazy don't be telling nobody they're lazy don't be telling nobody they're lazy don't do none of that because everybody deserves to sit the fuck down somewhere and chill and like be in solitude with themselves next is spend time with people who really really get you not get you really really get you because like those type of people are honest with you and they got the answers like because they have their best, they have their the best interest in you like they care for you they love you so like they want to see you win like you need to be spending time with those people like be honest like they're honest with you and like that's the only time you can be honest with yourself too so like not the only time more times for that but like <laughs> me randomly it helps to have somebody to talk to and that really gives you gets you and more clarity in your life and it brings more clarity in your life also take the time to think about how much you have accomplished and achieved for me i always forget like damn like i'm always worried about like the now so like I forget the amazing things that I've done and like guys congratulate yourself pat yourself on the back because in our world nothing should go unnoticed like we should congratulate ourselves all the time period um next hmm always go over healthy habits um go over your habits and boundaries to change and act upon them I'm always I'm always preaching like reflect reflect sit with yourself and reflect but like you really 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 need to you need to record the bad and the good habits to change the shit you want to change for yourself like this is something you need to write out like in front of you without like like literally write out in front of you and like at first when people are like you need to write shit out I'm like "Mm," but no I have now like years on years later where I have notebooks of my like old versions of myself writing like and what I used to say, like, I honestly love that. So write everything, guys. It's honestly, like, you're going to be so... That's a, that's an accomplishment in itself. Like, that's a little thing that you're going to love. Oh, the birds love that. Okay. <laughs> the birds on my window. My window opens, like, vibes right now, period. But, yeah, make sure you uh, write shit down and also visualize. Visualize, visualize, visualize. Like, don't ever feel bad for being a visionary. Some people are just not visionaries. They don't get that. They don't get it like us. So like never feel bad for that. And make sure you're acting upon your habits consistently. If you're not re- going back and reflecting y'all, I'm going to say it again, reflect bitch because it's Im- <laughs> it's important. Okay. Next is remember it's okay to disagree with someone. Like remember you don't have to listen to everyone. <laughs> like I, for me when I got older, like people and like I would tell people my dreams and shit Bitches did not understand. Like, people just did not understand. Like I said, they're not visionaries like us. They don't know. So, like, don't waste time trying to explain yourself. Just, like, people just ain't gonna get it. Like, they're really not. Like, and as I got older, well, not as I got older, but, like, back in the day, I would have heated discussions with others because people just can can stand me not agreeing with them. Like, and that's fine, guys. Like, no one's the same. Everyone has their different fucking point of views. You can disagree with individuals. That's okay. Like, it's good. Next is always always revisit your goals and create a plan to accomplish them because it's like, I hate when shit is sitting in my notes for a minute and like, I haven't even tackled that. Like, ew, what the fuck? So you need to jot down three things under that fucking goal and like, make sure you act upon that shit because like, I hate when shit is sitting. Ew, like it needs to be replaced or like it needs to be accomplished 
like that's how you need to think period next is allow yourself to make mistakes i always this is my biggest one like i punish myself like I punish myself. I beat myself up about making the dumbest mistakes and, like, all that shit. So we just need to accept that shit and allow ourselves to be free from that. Like, as long as you analyze every lesson and learn from it, you will always be okay. And I came to that point in my life where I'm like, bro, it's okay. I don't give a fuck. As long as I don't give a fuck, nobody else will give a fuck. Period. And that's how you need to think. Before we end off this app, this ep- app, a little. Before we end off this episode, guys, the literally number one last thing is like, okay, I just I went through a phase where like I wasn't liking the clothes that I was in when I was dancing. Like, I had to figure out what made me feel so good, like what made me feel good, like look good as I was I dance as I was dancing. So that applies to life. If you are not feeling good in the clothes that you're in bitch you need to get a new wardrobe one like you need to put yourself in pieces that you are going to feel confident in and that's like my last one but like that shit really matters if you are not like expressing yourself through your clothes and like your fits and like your look like it it sucks and you need to be able to express yourself like for me that's just key that's important like i need to be feeling myself at all times period I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. These are the tips that I literally live by, guys. These are these tips help me l- going and help me feeling great. So I hope they help you. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're almost at 800 subscribers. <sighs> it's so real. It's fucking crazy. I'm just so fucking happy. I could cry. 800 subscribers. Like what? Wow. Anyways, <laughs> subscribe to me on YouTube, Diamond Holly Productions. Um. Follow us on Instagram. My dad, follow him on Instagram, Dante Secret. Follow my brother. He edits all my videos at Alvagram. Follow me, obviously, the Holly, the clean, the baddest. No, I'm kidding about it. Not kidding about that. Anyways, um, I'm like two wise. And also subscribe to my uh, Snapchat because I've been posting on Snapchat lately. I just love it on there. And yeah, guys, I love you. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, a beautiful weekend, whenever you're listening to this. And stay motherfucking shining because that's all we do. <laughs> Bye.